Desperate, an elderly man makes an unexpected request to a nurse at the hospital and everyone is shocked. But no one could have imagined that the truth he was hiding would change their lives forever. William, an 80-year-old man, arrives at the central hospital, appearing to be very ill and wearing tattered clothes. His hunched, fragile body contrasts painfully with the busy life around him. The hospital's automatic doors open slowly, as if inviting the elderly person to enter a world of mysteries and hope. The cold morning air mixes with his ragged breathing, and he walks with difficulty, leaning on a cane that seems to be his only faithful companion. The curious looks of patients and staff follow William's every move. His clothes are torn and dirty, his worn-out shoes indicate a long journey. Every wrinkle on his face tells a story of struggle and survival. His eyes, red and tired, look for compassion, but find only the indifference of a hurried society. As he approaches reception, William feels even more out of place. The receptionist, with a cold and distant look, looks up from her papers and asks, without a hint of sympathy, E may I help you, sir? Her voice echoes through the lobby, filled with disdain. E please, I need to see a doctor. I'm really bad, E. William says, his voice shaking not just from the cold, but from weakness. He struggles to stay upright, holding on to his cane with all the strength he has left. E do you have health insurance or any form of payment? The receptionist's question is like a stab. William lowers his head, embarrassed. E I have nothing. I just need help, E he murmurs, barely audible. William's heart beats hard, mixing fear with the hope of being seen. The silence in the lobby becomes overwhelming. All eyes are on him, some with curiosity, others with judgment. He feels the weight of contempt and indifference. It is then that a figure dressed in a nurse's white coat approaches. Harper, a young woman with a kind face and eyes that radiate warmth, watches the scene from afar. Known among her colleagues for her compassion and dedication, she cannot remain on the sidelines. E please allow me to help you, E she says in a soft voice, approaching William with an expression of genuine concern. Harper's words are like a ray of light amidst the darkness that surrounds William. He looks up, surprised by her presence. His tired eyes meet hers, and he sees a glimmer of hope in that compassionate look. E thank you, young man, E he says, with a sigh of relief. Before the receptionist can ask another bureaucratic question, Harper intervenes. E it's my job. Come on sir, E she says, offering him a reassuring smile. Her tone carries a promise not just of medical care, but of humanity. William feels grateful, as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. Led by Harper, William crosses the corridor, ignoring the disapproving looks from some colleagues. Every step is a test of his struggle, but Harper's presence gives him strength. They arrive at a small exam room, where Harper helps William lie down on the gurney. E you'll be comfortable here, E Harper says in a soft voice, conveying peace of mind amid the uncertainty. William feels a feeling of renewal in his heart, as if a ray of light passes through the shadows that surround him. As Harper prepares the materials to clean and treat the wounds that dot William's arms and legs, he begins to speak. His voice, although weak, carries the tone of a life full of memories. He speaks of happier days, of a youth full of hopes and dreams, and of a love that blossomed with his beloved wife. Harper listens attentively, feeling her heart touched by the silent dignity with which William accepts his fate. E I'll take care of you, William. You're not alone, E she assures him, reinforcing her words with a look full of determination. Harper, the nurse who welcomed him warmly when he arrived, now calls him by name. This simple gesture of recognition brings unexpected relief to William. He feels a weight being lifted from his shoulders, as if someone is finally willing to see him beyond the surface of his worn appearance. Upon revealing his name to Harper, William feels a connection forming between them. It's as if an invisible bond has been established, based not just on the formality of a casual meeting, but on the silent intimacy of sharing who he really is. He realizes that despite difficult circumstances, 
there is comfort in having someone to share your story with. Harper listens intently as William shares a little about his life. He mentions his wife, who passed away many years ago, and his children who went their separate ways, losing contact over time. His voice, although weak, carries a weight of longing and loneliness that touches Harper's heart deeply. For William, sharing these memories is like opening a door to a past that he would often prefer to forget, but that now seems important to relive. He talks about the happy days of his youth, when he and his wife danced in the moonlight and dreamed of a future full of promise. These memories, although painful, bring a fleeting shine to William's tired eyes. Harper listens to every word with a mixture of compassion and admiration. She can't change William's past, nor fix the regrets he may carry with him, but she can offer him something valuable, her attentive presence and a shoulder to lean on. In a world where older people are so often neglected or forgotten, Harper sees the importance of simply being there, listening and recognizing William's humanity. Harper, with her calm and empathetic presence, creates a safe space for William. He begins to talk about his youth, the words coming out slowly, as if each memory were a treasure to be shared. E when I was young, e he begins, his voice weak but charged with emotion, e everything seemed so full of possibilities. Harper listens intently, her eyes reflecting the compassion she feels for him. William describes the sunny days of his youth, when he ran through the fields and swam in the rivers of his small town. E I met my wife, Maria, at a party in town, e he says, a soft smile lighting up his wrinkled face. As she was the most beautiful woman I had ever seen. Harper feels a pang in her heart when she hears the love in William's voice, a pure emotion that transcends time and pain. He talks about the happy years they spent together, the dances under the moonlight and the dreams they share. Harper realizes that, in remembering these moments, William finds a kind of comfort. E Maria and I always dreamed of a home full of laughter and love, E he continues, eyes shining with unshed tears. E and for a while, we had that. Harper feels the depth of William's loss when he mentions Maria's death. As she's been gone for many years, E he says, his voice breaking slightly. E and since then, life has never been the same. Harper gently squeezes William's hand, offering a silent gesture of comfort. She knows that words are insufficient to console such a profound loss, but she hopes that her presence will bring some relief. Harper feels a growing connection with William. She realizes that he is not just a patient, but a man with a rich and loving history. She remembers her own grandfather, who passed away a few years earlier, and feels an even deeper empathy. This connection creates a silent bond between them, a mutual understanding that doesn't need many words. Harper and William remain silent for a moment, each lost in their own thoughts. She holds his hand tightly, wanting him to know that despite everything, he is still seen and valued. Time seems to suspend around them, creating a bubble of peace amidst the chaos of the hospital. William needs to be hospitalized. He finds himself surrounded by the white walls and impersonal corridors of the hospital, an environment that contrasts sharply with the freedom and simplicity of his previous life. His heart fills with anxiety as the doctors discuss his case, their voices echoing like distant murmurs in his worried ears. Harper, his trusted nurse, remains by his side throughout the process. She is a beacon of calm amid the emotional storm William faces. Her compassionate eyes meet his, conveying a reassurance he desperately needs in this time of uncertainty. As he prepares for hospitalization, William reveals his deepest concerns to Harper. He talks about the fear of the unknown, the loneliness that sometimes plagues him on the silent nights in the hospital. Harper listens intently, offering not only words of comfort, but also her constant presence as crucial emotional support. For William, sharing his stories with Harper is a way of reaffirming his humanity in an often impersonal environment. He feels seen and heard by her, a comforting sensation that helps him face the difficulties of hospitalization. As the days go by, William and Harper develop a routine that goes beyond medical procedures. They swap stories during morning rounds, share quiet moments during quiet hospital nights. 
These simple moments create an emotional connection that grows stronger with each encounter. Harper becomes not only his nurse, but a confidant in whom William trusts his most intimate and vulnerable thoughts. He opens his heart about his fears about the disease, his concern about the uncertain future. Harper listens without judgment, offering a shoulder to lean on in times of weakness. While William faces the challenges of hospitalization, Harper becomes his safe haven. She is there to celebrate the small progress and comfort you in the moments of discouragement. Her constant presence is a reminder that there is hope even in the darkest of days. William reveals to Harper that she has been special to him since the moment he saw her for the first time. He vividly remembers the day he walked into the hospital, feeling lost and helpless. His tattered clothes and weakened physical state were a reflection of a difficult and lonely life. But then, he saw Harper. She stood out among other healthcare professionals not only for her competence, but for the genuine compassion she radiated. His attentive eyes and welcoming smile were a balm for William's tired soul. In that moment, he felt an instant connection, as if she were a beacon of hope amidst the darkness that surrounded him. William reports to Harper how his days at the hospital become more bearable thanks to her presence. He admires your ability to comfort not just with your words, but with simple gestures like holding your hand during difficult times. To him, Harper represents more than just a nurse. She is a symbol of kindness and care that he has not experienced in a long time. While sharing his feelings, William reveals stories to Harper that he has never told anyone. He talks about his deepest fears and his most sincere hopes. Amid conversations about the past and present, William expresses his gratitude for Harper being by his side during this critical period in his life. For William, Harper becomes a ray of light in his dark world. He admires your ability to remain calm even in the most difficult situations. Her gentle gestures and soothing voice have the power to soothe his troubled soul providing him with a sense of peace he never imagined he would find in a hospital. As time passes, William and Harper continue to share meaningful moments. Each meeting is an opportunity to learn more about each other, strengthening the emotional bond that unites them. Harper becomes not only his nurse, but his confidant and friend who he trusts with his innermost thoughts. One day, during a quiet conversation in the bedroom, William surprises Harper by revealing her deepest feelings. He talks about the loneliness he has carried with him for years, ever since he lost his wife. William confesses that, upon meeting Harper, he felt something special, a connection that transcends the relationship between nurse and patient. Harper listens intently, her heart warming at William's sincere words. She sees beyond the walls of the hospital and the formalities of her job realizing the vulnerable humanity before her. The stories William shares about his life and emotions awaken a deep compassion within her. As William continues to speak, he expresses his admiration for Harper, not just for the care she shows, but for the person she is. He mentions how she brought light and hope to his dark days in the hospital, how her smile was able to light up the room and calm her worries. In a moment of courage and vulnerability, William kneels before Harper. It is an unexpected gesture, full of meaning and emotion. He reveals his desire to not only overcome his loneliness, but to find a companion for his remaining years. E. Harper, E. he says, his voice cracking with emotion, E. you've brought hope back to me. Will you marry me? Harper is speechless for a moment, completely taken by the surprise and sincerity of William's request. She looks at him, seeing beyond the fragile patient before her, and recognizing the brave man who dares to dream again. Harper's hands shake slightly as she processes the magnitude of the moment. For Harper, William's request goes beyond a simple proposal. It's a powerful revelation of his trust and affection for her. He trusts her with his deepest feelings, an honor she takes very seriously. Harper feels a mixture of gratitude and humility to have been chosen by William to share this moment of vulnerability and desire for connection. As she looks into William's eyes, Harper sees a reflection of her own emotional journey. She recalls her own struggles and triumphs, her moments of solitude and the encounters that shaped who she is today. William represents not just a patient, 
but a soul searching for meaning and love, a universal need that resonates deeply with her. Harper feels her heart expand with compassion. She responds softly to William, her words filled with respect and affection. E. William, as she begins, her voice soft and emotional, you are an incredible person, and I am honored by your request. But we need to talk more about this, calmly. Her eyes meet his, conveying a mutual understanding that goes beyond words. For William, the simple act of making the request is a revelation of his courage and vulnerability. He didn't expect to find love again in a place like the hospital, but Harper's presence changed his perspective. However, the reaction of the environment around her is completely different from what he expected. As he kneels before her, revealing his innermost feelings, the room lets out a murmur of surprise and shock. Some smile embarrassedly, others whisper among themselves, unable to understand the depth of William's gesture. Harper's colleagues, caught off guard by the unusual situation, can't contain their reactions. Some begin to laugh discreetly, finding the scene pathetic and out of place. Others exchange looks of disbelief, wondering if they are witnessing a bad joke. The atmosphere that was one of tenderness and vulnerability between William and Harper is abruptly interrupted by the wave of negative reactions around them. Harper, who moments before was absorbed by the emotion of the moment, feels a knot form in her stomach when she notices her colleague's reaction. She sees her friends and co-workers exchanging disapproving glances and hearing muffled laughter. What was supposed to be an intimate and meaningful moment turns into something public and embarrassing. William, who just wanted to express his love and desire for a partner, feels exposed and vulnerable to the reactions of others. He notices the look of judgment on many of the faces around him, and it hurts him deeply. In his eyes, the request was a declaration of hope and a genuine desire for happiness, but to others, it seems to have become a source of scorn and mockery. For Harper, the situation is painful not only for herself, but also for William. She feels his pain as if it were her own, her empathy extending beyond their professional relationship. She sees William as a brave man who allowed himself to be vulnerable in front of everyone, only to be ridiculed and humiliated in return. William, in turn, struggles to maintain his composure in the face of public humiliation. He tries to smile at Harper, trying to comfort her even when he himself feels fragile inside. He clings to the hope that her love and sincerity of gesture will be understood by her, regardless of what others may think or say. The following moments are tense and charged with emotion. Harper finds herself torn between her professional duty to care for William and her own conflicting emotions. She tries to ignore the nasty comments around her, focusing only on the man before her and the courage he showed in popping the question. Harper hurriedly leaves William's room, leaving behind an environment full of tension and curious looks. The voices of her colleagues still echo in her mind, mixed with the weight of the situation she finds herself in. She seeks refuge in the hospital cafeteria, a place that is usually a peaceful refuge amid the chaos of work. As Harper walks down the hallway, she feels a lump tighten in her throat. The mocking words and judgmental looks are still fresh in her mind. She wonders how she could have been so naive to allow an intimate moment to become so public and exposed to other people's opinions. The fear of judgment and the pain of humiliation mix in her heart, leaving her vulnerable and uncertain. In the cafeteria, Harper finds an inconspicuous corner and sits down, letting out a heavy sigh. She lowers her head for a moment, closing her eyes to try to contain the tears that threaten to spill. Her heart is broken not only by her own situation, but also by William's. She knows he didn't deserve to be exposed like that, his courage turned into a source of laughter and mockery. As Harper struggles to control her emotions, she hears footsteps approaching. A moment of tension sets in before she recognizes William's figure standing in front of her. He looks worried and hesitant, his eyes reflecting sadness and guilt for putting her in such a difficult situation. William breaks the tense silence with a sincere apology, his voice echoing with sincerity. William blames himself for having exposed Harper to the ridicule of his colleagues an unforeseen consequence of his impulsive gesture of love and desire for company. 
He sees the pain in her eyes and wishes he could reverse time, protecting her from the cruelty of the outside world. She finally responds, her voice soft and thick with emotion. Harper tells William that she understands her intentions, that her gesture came from the heart and that there was no malice in it. However, she confesses that she is struggling with the unexpected consequences, with the way others judged and ridiculed her for something so intimate and personal. For William, Harper's words are a relief mixed with sadness. He regrets not only having exposed her to this embarrassment, but also having caused pain to the person who became his safe haven in the hospital. He wishes he could protect her from the outside world, the same way she has been her support during her stay in the hospital. William carries a secret deep within him, a truth that could transform not only his own life, but also that of everyone around him. Since he arrived at the hospital, he has guarded this secret carefully, afraid of the consequences of revealing it. As the days pass, the emotional toll of the secret only increases, weighing on your shoulders like an invisible burden. For William, the secret is a weight on his soul, a truth that consumes him during the quiet moments in the hospital. He wonders if he should share it with someone, if it would ease his own conscience or bring more complications. Uncertainty about how others would react prevents him from opening his heart completely, even to Harper, whom he has grown to trust. Harper, in turn, feels there is something more than what William has shared so far. She notices the hesitation in his eyes, the moments of silence charged with meaning as the subject approaches secrecy. Harper is curious by nature, but also respects William's emotional limits. She wonders if he would trust her enough to reveal whatever it is he's been holding so deeply. For Harper, William's secret is an emotional enigma that intrigues and worries her at the same time. She wonders if the secret is something related to his medical condition, something that could directly affect his treatment and recovery. The uncertainty leads her to observe William even more carefully, looking for clues between the lines of his conversations and in the moments of heavy silence. Meanwhile, the days at the hospital continue to pass, marked by medical routines and moments of solitary reflection for William. William wonders if he will ever be able to trust Harper enough to share everything he is keeping inside. He ponders the consequences of her words, how they might change the course of their lives and the lives of those around them. For Harper, every day with William is an opportunity to learn more about the complexity of human beings. She sees in him not just a patient, but an individual with a story and a secret that deeply defines him. Harper wonders if the revealed secret could strengthen their connection, or if it would create an irreparable distance between them. In the hospital cafeteria, after another day of work, Harper takes a deep breath, closing her eyes for a moment as she lets her thoughts collect themselves. She remembers all the times William was more than just a patient to her. He became a friend, someone with whom she shared laughs, stories, and moments of true humanity. Harper feels a growing urge to protect him, to be by his side, regardless of the judgments and consequences that may come. Upon making her decision, Harper feels a wave of determination and courage take over her heart. She rises from the cafeteria, ready to face her colleagues and any adversity with her head held high. She chooses to respond with compassion and strength to the mockery she has suffered, knowing that this decision will change the course of their lives forever. When Harper returns to William's room, she finds him sitting on the bed, looking out the window with a pensive look. Hearing her footsteps, he turns, and her eyes meet. William can see the resolve in Harper's eyes, something that fills him with hope and apprehension at the same time. Harper approaches William, sitting next to him. She takes her hands in his, feeling the fragility and strength that emanate from her wrinkles. E. William, E. She begins, her voice soft but firm, E. I've thought a lot about what happened about your proposal, and about us. William watches her closely, his heart beating fast. He sees the determination in her eyes and feels something important is about to be said. Harper takes a deep breath before continuing, her words filled with sincere emotion. E I have decided that I will not abandon you. It doesn't matter what others think or say. I choose to stay by your side. Harper's words are like a bomb for William's heart. He feels tears well up in her eyes, 
not from sadness, but from deep relief and gratitude. He gently squeezes her hands, trying to find the right words to express what he feels. E. Harper, I don't know how to thank you. You're, you're everything to me. Harper smiles, and her tears start to roll silently down her cheeks. She leans over and kisses William's forehead tenderly. E. I also feel the same way, William. And if you still want to, I'll agree to marry you. The room seems to fall into absolute silence, as if time itself had stopped to witness this moment. William feels an overwhelming wave of emotion and happiness. He never expected to find someone who understood and accepted his love, especially at such a difficult time in his life. He pulls Harper into a hug, feeling the reality of her words sink into her heart. For Harper, this decision is not just an act of compassion, but an affirmation of her own courage and ability to love unconditionally. She knows that she will face trials and challenges, but she is willing to fight for William, for the love they found in each other. When news of Harper's decision spreads around the hospital, reactions are mixed. Some colleagues look at her with disdain and incomprehension, but others applaud her courage and empathy. Harper stands firm, knowing that the opinions of others do not define her worth or her choices. William watches Harper as she moves around the room, adjusting sheets and checking her vitals. He knows it's time to reveal her secret, something he's kept for many years. Her presence, her compassion and courage encourage him to finally tell the truth. He takes a deep breath, feeling the weight of the moment in her chest. E. Harper, E. He begins, his voice shaking slightly. Harper stops what she's doing and looks at him, surprised by the seriousness in her tone. E. I have something very important to tell you. Something that could change the way you see me, the way you see this hospital. She sits next to him, holding his hand firmly. E. You can tell me anything, William. I'm here for you. William takes a deep breath again, gathering all the courage he has. E. Harper, I am the true owner and anonymous benefactor of this hospital. I funded its construction and maintenance over the years. But I chose to keep my identity hidden in order to observe how the hospital operated and how people were treated. Harper stays silent, absorbing the impact of his words. She feels a mixture of shock, awe and disbelief. A did, did you finance all of this? Her voice is soft, almost a whisper. A but why? Why keep it a secret? William lets out a heavy sigh, as if he's relieved to finally share his truth. E. I wanted to see the true nature of the people here. How they behave without knowing they are being watched. I wanted to ensure that the hospital operated with integrity, that people were treated with dignity and respect. And most of all, I wanted to make sure difference without the interference that my name could bring. Harper feels a wave of emotions wash over her. She has always admired William's strength and kindness, but now, knowing his crucial role in the hospital's existence, her admiration transforms into something even deeper. E. William, that's incredible. You've changed so many lives without anyone knowing. Including mine. He smiles, a shy, humble smile. E. I didn't do it for recognition, Harper. I did it because I believe in the good we can do. And you, more than anyone, showed me that I made the right choice. You treat every patient with a kindness and care that is rare for CU. Harper feels tears start to form in her eyes. Uh, that explains so much, e, she says, her voice cracking with emotion. And why you always seem to know more than you let on, why you were so involved in everything. William nods his eyes fixed on hers. It's always been hard for me not to reveal the truth, especially when I saw so many dedicated people working here. But seeing you, Harper, made me realize that there are still people who make a difference simply by caring. And that gave me hope. Harper squeezes William's hand, feeling a deep connection with him. You don't know how much this means to me, she says, her voice thick with emotion. Yeah, I've always wondered about the anonymous benefactor. Now that I know it's you, it all makes more sense. 
and I'm even more determined to make this place the best it can be, for you and for everyone who needs us. Willian feels a wave of relief and gratitude. He knew telling Harper would be the right thing to do, but he didn't expect her to react with so much love and understanding. E thank you, Harper, e he says softly. E for listening to me, for understanding. And for being the wonderful person you are. They sit in silence for a moment, taking in the depth of the revelation and the new understanding between them. Harper feels that now she knows Willian in a more complete, more intimate way, and this new truth strengthens her desire to be by his side even more. After a few weeks, Harper goes through her routine of taking care of Willian once again, and when she says good morning, he no longer responds. Willian's death came that morning, leaving a deep void in his heart. The memories of the moments they shared are still fresh in her mind, and she feels as if an essential part of her life has been abruptly ripped away. Willian wasn't just a patient to her, he was a friend, a confidant, and someone she came to love deeply. As Harper struggles to process her grief, she receives an envelope delivered by a lawyer. Willian's name is written on the front in firm, elegant handwriting. With shaking hands, she opens the envelope and begins to read the letter. Every word written by Willian brings a mix of sadness and comfort, as if he were there beside her, guiding her through her last wishes. In the letter, Willian reveals that he left his entire fortune to Harper. He explains that his intention is to ensure that the hospital continues to be a place of compassion and excellence in care, a mission he knew Harper would carry forward with all her heart. He fully trusts her to continue the legacy he started, believing she is the right person for this monumental task. Harper feels an overwhelming wave of emotions when she reads Willian's words. She is deeply moved by the trust he has placed in her, but she also feels the weight of responsibility that now rests on her shoulders. Willian's fortune is not just a gift, it is a call to action, a commitment to something greater than herself. In the days that follow, Harper dedicates himself to fully understanding the scope of the legacy left by Willian. She works closely with attorneys and financial advisors to ensure funds are managed correctly. Every decision she makes is guided by the memory of Willian and the love he had for the hospital and its patients. As Harper delves into her new responsibility, she finds herself motivated by a deep desire to honor Willian's memory. She remembers all the conversations they had about the hospital, about the importance of treating each patient with dignity and respect. Harper is committed to keeping these values at the center of everything she does. News of Harper's inheritance spreads throughout the hospital, and reactions are mixed. Some colleagues sincerely congratulate her, while others look on with suspicion and envy. Harper, however, remains focused on the mission. She knows her role is crucial in ensuring the hospital continues to operate with the highest standards of care and compassion. Harper begins to implement improvements at the hospital, using the resources left by Willian to expand services, modernize equipment and invest in ongoing staff training. She works tirelessly, inspired by Willian's memory and the impact he wanted to have on people's lives. Each day brings new challenges, but also new opportunities for Harper to show her dedication and passion. She remembers Willian's words, who believed in her and her ability to make a difference. This confidence strengthens her, guiding her through difficulties and difficult decisions. As Harper walks through the hospital hallways, she feels Willian's presence around every corner. She sees her legacy in the improvements she is implementing, the lives she is touching and the changes she is making. The hospital flourishes under her leadership, becoming a beacon of hope and excellence for the community. Harper's mission is clear and unwavering. She is determined to ensure that the hospital remains true to the principles Willian established. Every smile from a patient, every thank you from a family, every medical success is a tribute to Willian's vision and the love he had for this place. Harper knows that Willian's inheritance is more than money. It is a legacy of love, care and commitment to the well-being of others. Harper is dedicated to honoring that legacy every day by ensuring the hospital continues to be a place where every life is valued and every patient is treated with the utmost respect and dignity. If you like this story, 
Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any exciting stories and tell me in the comments if Willian did the right thing by asking Harper to marry him and leaving all his fortune to her. Stay now with another touching story.